Yo, yo, yo. Welcome to the channel. For those of you that are new here, my name is Brandon. And let's jump right into it. So for today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys the engine and the gearbox. I'm going to be rebuilding my 2004 six-speed trans with this carbon Synchrotech rebuild kit. So let's 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 dive into it because it's cold. Baby. Sir, my reinforcements came through for me, man. Appreciate it. Dig up yourself, man. See how rusty this thing is? This this flywheel and pressure plate has been on this car for about 16 years. This car came out in 2004. This, this is definitely an OEM flywheel and pressure plate. So when you're buying an old car, this is what it looks like on the inside, most, most case scenario. Is this not flying by me? We ain't, we ain't riding like this. We about to upgrade. This is a six speed TSX transmission. The best way for you to differentiate the different K series transmissions is by the transmission code. This is a ASU5. A K series um, Civic SI transmission is gonna be a PNN3 or something like that. RSX transmissions are different, you know, they're all different, so that code right there is going to let you know what kind of transmission you're buying. As you can see, the transmission is filthy. A whole bunch of oil and grease built up over the years. We're going to crack this TSX transmission open, but before we do that, we got to clean it because it's filthy. I have a new clutch on the way. That'll be for a different video whenever it gets here, whenever it stops snowing, whatever, but... Today, we got some cleaning tools over here, got some degreaser, got some um, scrubbing tools, so. All right, guys, let me show you what I did so far. So, um, this is the transmission. I'm pretty sure you can see it's all bubbly and stuff. I covered the sensors. I'm gonna leave it like this for about a couple more minutes and then I'm gonna scrub everything down. You see this part? This is how the transmission is supposed to look. Well, this is how it looked when it came from the factory. Nice and silver, nice and shiny, and, um, this is pretty much the case with the whole trans. It's covered in dirt and grime. I've been scrubbing for like five minutes straight. I'm tired and this is my progress. So I'm not even gonna try and do this by hand. That's the inside, it's all filthy. It's still dirty. But once we get the pressure washer out and once the snow is gone, we can properly clean this bad boy down. It must be a double over this side because this side is tight. Must be a double over there. Main shaft and counter shaft are gonna come out as a unit. I'm gonna set it up on the table and then I'm gonna put the counter shaft back in and the main shaft back in one at a time so I can reassemble. With the bearing got stuck in there. Look at them gears, boy. What? <laughs> Look at 
honestly, I thought I would have to go buy a new fifth gear because when I when I downshifted from six to fifth, it would grind, and I went when I would upshift from fourth to fifth, it would grind. So I'm like, the gear must be going up. This is the final. This is the final drive ring gear, and that is the problem. These are the gears where you change gears from first, second, third, fourth. That's why you you see all this stuff. But this is the ring gear. So the verdict on the transmission right now, when I was driving it, I, I, I felt a fifth gear grind. That's the reason why I bought the Synchrotech rebuild kit. The gears are perfect, no cracks in the gears, but in reality, the ring gear was broken. I went ahead and ordered new ring gear, and I sh it should be on the way by the end of the week. I got new bolts, I got a new clutch, I got a new flywheel, so, Whenever those stuff come in the mail, I'll record it, I'll throw everything together, put it back in the car, and then I'll have the car on the road. So if you learned something new today, like, comment what you learned, or comment what you think I should have um, elaborated more on. Just let me know what I'm doing. If you guys like it, if you think um, I should keep going, let me know. All right, guys, peace.